Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters in Christ, family and friends. God bless you. We want to welcome you, amen, to our uh, God of Wonders Holy Life radio and podcast station, amen. Uh, I'm very excited that you're tuned in with us. Uh, special shout out to all, all of those that are watching us live right now, Facebook Live, amen. God is good. His mercy endureth forever, amen. Uh, today we have a beautiful word that we believe is inspired by God and we believe that that it will be edifying and ministering unto the hearers like Ephesians 4.29 says, amen. amen. I am your host and brother in Christ, humble servant, brother Tony V. Jr., amen. Got my brothers in the building right now, uh, brothers in Christ, amen, also part of this ministry. We're excited, uh, definitely special guest today and we'll be all... Uh, sharing the word of God today because we believe that evangelism and missions are in the heart of God. Amen. And uh, I want to go ahead and let these brothers introduce themselves right now and, uh, uh, and uh, you know, so we could go ahead and uh, dig in straight into the word of God. Amen. God bless you guys. Brother Isai Vasquez. I got my brother. Hey, God bless y'all. My name is Henry. Jesus loves y'all, man. You got a powerful word for y'all tonight. Just be blessed, open your heart, just prepare yourselves to receive this word that the Lord has for you. Amen. amen. We, we feel we feel blessed and privileged to be doing this. Amen. And amen. Uh, officially launching this as part of the ministry, Holy Life Ministries of what we've been doing. And this is powerful because there's many that need to hear a word of encouragement on the That's daily. Right. So right. we're going to try our best to do this every day and just bring a powerful word that... That could keep you going because we need this. We need encouragement daily. Amen, we need amen. something that'll keep us going every day. That's right. You know, a lot, a lot of times, you know, uh, we feel like we can't feed ourselves sometimes. That's you know, right. we That's need right. others to uh, pour into us, man. So this is amen. what we're trying to do. We're trying to pour into mm. in, into your soul. And, uh, and at the same time, the Lord is speaking to us, That's man. Right. So right. be blessed. Hallelujah. And we'll let Brother Antonio uh, lead us in to this powerful word. Amen. God is good. We're blessed and uh, definitely excited, amen, of what God is doing and what God is wanting to do, amen. We ask for your prayers. Uh, you can definitely feel free to uh, uh, pray for us, uh, definitely donations, whatever you, you feel in your heart to pour into this ministry, amen. We're, we're just launching and we're believing God, amen. We're believing in what God wants to do and speak. Speak to the world, amen. There, there are places around the nation, around the world where we can't physically go, amen. But we believe that through this medium of radio and podcast, we can reach the four corners of the world, amen. That's right. God is good. And uh, and definitely to not take away more time, we want to go ahead and, uh, like my brother said, dig in and go straight into the word of God. Uh, uh, if, if you would be so kind as to uh, open up your Bible, if you have one, if you're tuned in, open up to... Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, and we'll be reading from verse 10 to 12. Amen. Yes, Lord. We and just, I want to go ahead. Uh, we just want to do we'll a quick prayer. Oh, you want to pray after? Yeah, yeah, we'll read it, and then we'll definitely get into some prayer. Amen. Thank you, brother, for uh, mentioning that. And uh, we're going to read this word in the name of the Father, <laughs> name of the Son, and with the blessing of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Word of God says in Ephesians 6, 10. And so on, it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. With that being said, I'm going to let my brother Isai Vasquez, a.k.a. Purpose, amen, go ahead and lead us into a word of prayer, amen, as we uh, join in one accord and pray for this message. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Father God, we just come Father before God, you, Father God, we Lord. praise you. We, we pray right now, God, you, Lord, that Jesus. you soften every heart that's going to listen yes, to Lord. this word. Father yes, Lord. God. Holy Spirit. We pray that this word, Father Take God, control, falls Father on God. good soil, Father God. Yes, Lord Jesus. That it may reap a good harvest, Father yes, God. Yes, Lord, we magnify you. We pray for everyone that may hear, Father God, this podcast, what we're doing, what we're speaking Jesus, today. Father. That the power of your word, Holy the anointing Spirit. that's in your word may change and transform and bring hope to all Hallelujah, who is in need. Jesus. For all 
who Spirit, needs a touch of you, God. We praise you. Have your way, We Father. pray, God, that you speak to we us as well you, as all the hearers, Father well God. Done, Father and God. let us not just be hearers of thy word, but doers of yes, your word Lord. as well, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Holy we Spirit, praise take you control. And honor you, God. We welcome take control, you, Holy God. Spirit. Speak Have to your us, way, Lord. Father God, on this precious Use night, us, Lord, Lord God. to speak to the broken, Father you God. You are King, Father God, and we worship we only forever, you and Father. honor you, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God, brothers and sisters. We're excited. We know that God has a special word for us today. We know that God is definitely doing the work. Amen. And the times that we're living in, I think, is very important. And hectic as as we were talking before, you know, prior to this session, we were meditating and we're living in perilous times, amen. We're living in times where the word of God is 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 being persecuted, is is undergone intense scrutiny for over thousands of years. But now more than ever, we're we're seeing that the word of God is being more effective, but at the same time, wicked men are trying to disprove the word of God. Even people in the church, even ministers have, have turned into messages with, with, of itching ears, amen, and, 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 and turning away from sound doctrine, amen, and teaching fables and, 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 and false doctrines of demons. We're living in hectic times where you do not hear messages anymore about, amen, the spiritual war, the spiritual battle that we are undergoing, amen. We, we live in times, hallelujah, hermana Patricia, saludos desde Ecuador, amen, Dios te bendiga, sierva, estamos orando por ti, ora por nosotros, amen, this is a bilingual station, uh, we got brothers right now, uh, we got people, amen, uh, uh, definitely tuned in from all over the world, sister Patricia from Ecuador, amen, God bless you, sister, keep praying for us, uh, uh, we definitely encourage you, amen, to so go ahead and uh, write your comments if you yeah. if you want to share a word, amen. We'll we'll definitely shout you out and uh, uh, si quieren compartir algo allí en los en los comments pueden uh, comentar, amen. Y y, y, cuando, y cuando podamos vamos a darle lugar, amen. It's a bilingual station, amen. My brother Henry is definitely in charge of that, and uh, we know that God is definitely here to speak, amen. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, Sister Anita Lopez, prayers for wisdom, amen, prayers going your way, Father God, you said in your word, Lord Jesus, that if anyone lacketh wisdom, Lord, to ask of God, and he shall give it, you ask the Lord for wisdom, Sister Anita, and God will give it to you, because it's in your heart, he's already doing it, just believe it, amen, uh, Brother Dallas Hicks, God bless you, family, amen, Definitely there. Um, we appreciate your love, amen, and your comments and support. Go ahead and share this. And uh, and uh, without further ado, we just want to dig into the word of God. Ephesians 6, 12, 6, 10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. First, it tells us to be strong, Brother Henry. Then he says, and in the power of his might. That's right. So he's encouraging us to be strong first, and then he's saying, in the power of his might. Amen. Amen. That's a powerful word from God because, you know, the Apostle Paul, being led of the Holy Spirit, spoke a word, and, and he encouraged us to, to find refuge in the word of God, to put on the full armor. Why? Because we're in a spiritual battle daily. We are enduring temptations tribulations amen we're going through the bible says indeed all who desire to live a holy life will endure persecution that's right amen and 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 and, and the more we choose amen to 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 seek god with holiness and righteousness the more we want to seek god amen. the more we want to live holy and live for god the more we become persecuted. That's right. And the more so these scriptures apply to us, the more they stand out now. Because now the Apostle Paul is telling us to be strong in the power of his might. In the power of God's might. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Of the devil. the wiles, the darts, the fiery darts that the enemy wants to uh, throw at us daily. Temptations, lust, 
alcohol, drug addiction, you name it. A lot of people struggling with homosexuality. A lot of people struggling with mental illnesses. Jesus can set you free. Jesus, the, the, the answer is only found in Jesus Christ. Yes. Because whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. But you could only be free in Christ. That's right. You could only be free in Christ. And uh, I'm, we're excited. We know that God is doing things. Amen. God is definitely on the move. And God is calling us to put on the full armor. I, I, you know, brothers, I love this passage. You know, because when I meditate in this passage, we see how God, how the Apostle Paul, how God gives inspiration. You know what's, what impacts me about these passages, these epistles, these letters? That while Paul, man, I feel the Holy Spirit and I feel like crying right now. I'm going to tell you why. Because Paul was locked up in prison while he wrote the, to the Ephesians. He was locked up behind a cell. I imagine he was probably sitting on the floor, tied up with chains, but he still had the ability to write. Amen. And, he, and, the, and, and if, if we go through theology, the, 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 theologically, amen, and we go into the Word of God and we study. I've studied this passage before. It says that Paul the Apostle was studying. He was looking at the Roman soldier that was guarding him. It says that that as he looked at every part of the Roman soldier's army armor, it says that he started comparing that, uh, uh, basically applying it to the Christian life, the way we should be armed. You know, Rome was a very powerful, powerful nation at that time. They ruled the world. Amen. And, and if we continue to read, it says the Apostle Paul, he encouraged, he said, wherefore... Take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Then he starts describing the Roman soldier uh, entire uniform, entire armor. Verse 14 says, stand, stand therefore having your loins girt, your loins girt about with truth and having on the breast Plate of righteousness. righteousness. You know, that's powerful that we're talking about this and we so happen to have a, a shirt on that talks about righteousness. Yeah, have, put on the breastplate of righteousness, it says. The shoes of the gospel of peace. Amen, amen. The shield of faith. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. Go ahead. It says the Go helmet ahead. of salvation and the sword of the spirit. That's right. Isn't it powerful how it emphasizes on putting the full armor of God? Because that's the only way that we're going to be able to stand mm. against the enemy. That's it's right. if we're clothed in righteousness. Hallelujah. Which is the, which is the full armor of God. That's right. There's no way that we're going to be able to fight off the enemy. There's no way that we're going to be able to, to fight our battles. Right. If we're not clothed. That's right. With the full armor of God. That's right. That's it's right. so powerful how it emphasizes. So it mm -hmm. pretty much what I see here in the word is that it pretty much gives us the keys of how we will fight. Right. That's so right. so it says the, it's giving us the it says key. it says put on the full armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That's so right. if we're not clothed with the full armor mm. of God, we're not going to be able to stand against the, uh, the, it says against the wiles of, wiles of the devil. Darts, fiery darts. So the Amen. darts that the enemy is, those, those fiery darts that the enemy is constantly throwing at us. That's right. That's why we have to be alert. That's right. We have to be at all times watchful and praying. That's it right. says be watchful and pray that ye not fall into temptation. That's right. Right? It also says in another scripture that the enemy, our adversary, right, is out there like a roaring lion seeking for whom to devour. Hallelujah. The enemy's trying to destroy. That's right. That's his main objective, to destroy you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Well, how are we going to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil if we're not clothed? Hallelujah. If yes, we're not Lord. in the spirit, if we're not walking in the spirit, the word of God says... Walk in the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of your sinful yes, nature. Lord, Holy Spirit. But it says live in the flesh and you will reap death. That's right. It's important. It's so powerful, Brother Tony, Brother Henry, how the word just emphasizes that we have to be clothed with the full armor of God. Amen, amen. We have to. Have to. We have to. And and a lot of times in my life, 
uh, in my early years that I was coming to Christ, I would tell myself when I'd be going through stuff or sinning, I would be like, Lord, well, how is it that I can't fight the enemy? That's right. I wasn't applying his word. I wasn't clothed. I wasn't seeking God the that's way I was right, supposed that's right, to. That's right. That's right. That's right. I wasn't seeking the Lord the way the way I'm supposed to. So how was I gonna be filled? How was I gonna be able to fight if the word says resist the enemy and he will flee? Hallelujah. But yes, before Lord, that, it says right. submit yourselves unto Ooh, the Lord. Jesus. Resist the mm. enemy and he will flee. Isn't it so powerful the Sweet. way the word always gives you that's the key, key beforehand? Word, it says, submit unto the Lord, resist the enemy, and he will flee. That's the only way we'll be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, by being clothed in the full armor of God. That's right. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, That's right. but against the principalities, against powers. Powers. Okay, so if we go right there, this is powerful. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We know that our God is almighty and powerful. Hallelujah, that's right. But look at how the 12, Ephesians 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. It says powers again. So we know that there's two realms and they both have power. Mm -hmm. Right? So if we're not clothed in righteousness, the power that is in the world. That's right. It's going to overcome us. That's right. That's right. Holy Spirit. Right? So that's what the, that's, that's powerful right there. I'm, I, I'm starting to see that there's two powers. If, if we're not, if we're mm -hmm. not, if we're not seeking the way, the Lord, the way we're supposed to, if we're not clothed in, 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 in the full armor of God, the powers of the world will consume us. That's right. It says, against the rulers of darkness in this world, against the spiritual wickedness, in high places. high places. That's what we wrestle against. It high, says we wrestle places. not against flesh and blood. That's right. See, this this battle is not a carnal battle. That's right. There it's you a go. spiritual battle. There you go. So that's why it says, it says, where the brother was saying, it says, gird your loins. That's right. We're not fighting carnally. We're in a spiritual battle. That's right. And see, that's where a lot of us have it mixed up. Mm -hmm. We're fighting our battles carnally. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Instead of fighting our battles spiritually. Mm, Jesus, Holy Spirit. And how, well, how do we fight our battles spiritually? That's right, Lord. The word says, "How may a young man take? Uh, uh, how may a young man keeps his ways pure?" And I'm I'm pretty much putting this together for everyone. I'm not Amen. just talking to the young. Right, it says, right. "By taking heed, heed to, to the, the word, word of God." Of God. Praise the By Lord. seeking the Lord mm -hmm. and getting in His Word, mm -hmm. that's how we're going to overcome. That's right. Praise that's God. the only way we're going to overcome. That's the only because way. there's power in this world. Word. There's transformation in this Word. That's it right. says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's there's right. another scripture that says, for our weapons of warfare mm. are not carnal. But mighty right? through God. But mighty through God. That's there we right. go. Another beautiful scripture that tells down us. Of strongholds. Exactly. It's not carnal. How do how, how is it that as believers we step in the battle? It, listen to this. Just the way we see a physical world a war going on in this wor world. That's the same way we have a spiritual wor world go war going on. Amen, amen, amen. Spiritually in the heavenly realms. How is it that we step into battle sometimes? Brother Tony, Brother Henry, how is it that we step into battle sometimes? Into a spiritual battle carnally. Hmm. Jesus. How are we going to be able to overcome? Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We, we step into the Holy spiritual... We step into the spiritual corner. Hallelujah. Corner. That's right. How? How is it that we're going to be able to overcome? There's no There's way. There's no way that no we're going to no be how. able to overcome. That's why he says, watch and pray that ye not fall into temptation. We have to be watchful and praying, alert at all times, because the adversary is coming to Hallelujah. destroy. It says that he came to kill, steal, and destroy. Well, well, what is he trying to destroy? He's trying to destroy the will of God in your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Praise the living God. You wrestle not against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against the rulers and principalities in the heavenly realms. Right. It's a spiritual battle. And if we don't get in the spiritual battle, if we keep trying to fight our battles carnally, and we don't step into the spiritual battle with a full armor of God, we're going to constantly Hallelujah. be defeated. Hallelujah. We're not going to be able to stand in victory because everything that we're doing, our understanding, right. our, right. our, 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 our way to get into battle is not spiritual but carnal. That's right. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Praise God. So Praise powerful God. the way this scripture, this scripture just, you can veil it in all different ways. But right, this is right. how I felt the Lord speaking to me. Amen, amen. We're in the spiritual battle, brothers and sisters. That's right. Don't be deceived by the enemy. It's time to get in the battle. That's it's right. time to fight. It's time to push. It's time to strive. Hallelujah. Be of good courage. Praise God. Brothers and sisters in the faith, be of good courage. <laughs> it says, seek him now while he may be found. That's Call right. upon him now while he is near. That's right. See, because there right. will come a time that he won't be found. There will come a time that he won't be near. That's right. See? Now is the time. Now is the time. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Man, I feel, I'm filled with so much joy. Amen. We do things a little different, you know? We're, we're Pentecostal, man. Man, Safe, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, man. We feel that passion of uh, of Word of God. Yeah. Praise God. Uh, yeah, God is good, man. We're just trying to make sure that everyone's definitely listening. That's our brother Isai Vasquez, uh, also known as Purpose. Amen. He has a, a beautiful, awesome, powerful uh, music ministry. Amen. And uh, and uh, we're, we're we're so excited. God is good. God is good, man. I I would love for my brother Henry to just share some words man and just uh i know i know he got some word in there uh brothers in the bible institute right now uh iglesia de dios pentecostal mae amen and uh it's definitely making noise out here in, in the bay area and uh just seeking god he has a powerful testimony man god saved my brother from uh drug addiction <laughs> alcoholism game banging you know etc uh just wanted to share that because i know the brother personally amen he has a powerful testimony and uh, I just want to, you know, just hear him and, you know, uh, have him, uh, you know, just uh, uh, just bless the, you know, the microphone real quick and just, you know, give us his input on this topic, you know, and uh, just, you know, go ahead, my brother, you can go ahead and take the, yeah, we're over here, uh, humble beginnings, my family and friends, oh, yeah. amen, yeah, we're, we're in here and uh, definitely in the studio, amen, we're, we're excited and uh, just maneuvering around, amen. And uh, yeah, I know that my brother has a word from the Lord for someone out there, amen. Go ahead, my brother. Like my brother Misha says, all of you and none of me, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, so my brother was reading this. It really came to me when uh, we were studying at church and the pastor mentioned saying, um, he said, everything that happens in the spiritual Manifests itself in the physical. Hmm. That's right. You know, that's, that's it says a lot, especially with the scripture where it Hallelujah. says, For we wrestle against not flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, that's right. against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's right. Amen. A lot of times, the enemy throws those darts in our minds. That's he plays right. with our minds a lot. That's what he attacks us a lot because. A lot of our battles is within ourselves. The enemy knows how to get to us. That's right. And a lot of times we seek we seek physical things to try to cope with these these problems, these attacks that the enemy gets to us. Amen. But God tells us to to, to basically look into his word, look into his presence. Hallelujah. You know, our greatest battles are won in our knees. Hallelujah. When we pray. That's you know, right. there was That's this, right. this this other um regard where it was, but it says that the enemy seen me on my knees and he thought I was quitting. But mm. I was really praying. When we pray, Hallelujah. the Lord just, you know, the Lord just that's fills right, us up right, with power right, and right. strength. If we don't have a prayer life, do not honestly do not expect to win these battles if you are if you do not have a prayer life. Hallelujah. Our prayer life is a way of communicating with our Father who's in heaven. That's right. Remember that a father wants to be there for their child. The way that we are there for our child, he wants to be there for us. Amen. That's right. That's we can't right. do Hallelujah. this alone. Hallelujah. We can't do this alone. Without the Lord, we cannot do this. That's right. Amen. Right, right, right. This is a spiritual battle. A lot of times people 
People don't believe in this. People rather believe nonsense in the world. But there's really spiritual things going on. Me and That's my right. brother right. just came back. We prayed for a woman. This is for the glory of God. We prayed for a woman. We were praying. We were praying. And we mm -hmm. felt the Lord leading us to, to start casting out a demon. And, and we just prayed in the name of Jesus. That's and this right. lady ran from us. The enemy could not withstand the name of Jesus. And the, the demon ran. She ran from us, brothers yeah, and sisters. Right. This is a spiritual battle. Yes, we need to yes. understand that it's a spiritual battle, not a physical battle. It doesn't matter how strong you are in the physical. If you do not have a prayer life, if you're not in the word of God, if you are not seeking him above right. everything else, do not That's expect right. to be on the front line in this war. Jesus. We need to have Speak, the full Lord. armor of God right. if we expect to be yes, on this Lord. front yes, line. That's it is right. not a joke. The same way we was out there gang banging in the front line is the same way we going to ride for the Lord because Hallelujah. the Lord has proven Hallelujah. his love to us. It's historically proven that he died on that cross for our that's sins. That's right. There Hallelujah. ain't no homeboy or homie out there that's going to die for us. Yes, a lot of them say, I'm going to ride for you. I'm going to die for you. No, no, that's all lies from the enemy. The that's only right. one that proved his love and mercy right, over our, for us is our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. This is Holy why we do Spirit. this. We, we truly believe in this. Lord. We wouldn't be wasting our we time if we did Jesus. not believe in this powerful word of God. Right. This word is powerful. It's what changed our lives. It is something spiritual when you open this book and start just reading it. Yes. It's like Brother Wu said, all of a sudden, God just touched my heart and I start reading this word. And this just starts speaking to me. It starts filling us yes, up. You know, yes, rest in peace right. to our brother Woo Woo. Man, brother was anointed. And this brother, you know, he's, he's he had a great testimony as well. Amen. But brothers and sisters, man, we really that's have right, to, right. to rise up and, and truly seek holiness above everything. Seek God. That's seek, right, this, that's right. seek this spiritual bondage, this spiritual communication that we have with God. You know, amen. And it's just beautiful the way God speaks to us, the way the Bible is like, Basically, a book of instructions, a book of guidance in our lives. That's right, it says that's in the right. Word of God that, um, I'm going to say in Spanish, it says, Lampara a mis pies, la palabra de Dios, amen. Thy says, word is a lamp to my feet. Lamp to my feet, and amen. And as long path. as we stick to this word and ask for the Holy Spirit to guide our lives, that's right. this, is the, like, this is the most amazing thing ever, the, the Word of God. We've tried doing so many other things to guide our lives. We had people tell us how to live our lives. But believe me when I say that this word here, this word of God is is beautiful. Amen. It says that this word is like a flowing river in our lives. This Hallelujah. Thing just yes, it fills us is. up when we're weak. The, yes, the word is. of God makes us feel stronger. You know, it's so beautiful that God left us for us to just to just how do you say to just um mm -hmm. savor it, to just to just taste it and what? digest yeah, it and yeah, just yeah. feel it in our lives, let it just take over of our lives, amen. And That's brothers right. and sisters, right. we're just here to encourage all of you that it's time to, to march in unity, to march yes. together. Because if we try to do these things alone, we are going to fail. We need the Lord. That's we need right. our brothers That's and right. sisters That's to right. walk with us. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. it says that all our brethren are going through stuff, but we need to stick together. Yes. And, uh, and brethren means people that think like-minded, people that, that are the same, the people that are are connected together towards one right, thing. Right, you know, right, it's a right. lot of meaning to that word brethren. It's such a beautiful word. It's not just for the brothers, it's for the sisters too. We are meant to walk in unity. We are meant to walk as an army. We are the army of the Lord. And we need to understand that we all need to be praying for each other. All need to be praying That's together. Right. That's praying right. for one another. Praying for the lost souls. Amen. And we That's just, right. I That's just, right. I just, oh, the Holy Spirit is here. Hallelujah. We, we praise you, Jesus. Jesus. It's such a beautiful word. The Lord reminding us, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, we really need to be in prayer. You know, at church, you know, we we pray a lot for all our brothers and sisters to get up in prayer. Amen. And we all feel nobody's perfect. Amen. But That's we right. really need to strive, especially in these times where, where you just see the enemy attacking our kids, right. attacking their minds through through media, through school, just everything is just so wicked. But there's nothing to be alarmed. We knew that these things are going to happen. It's That's in right. the word of God. That's right. We just have to be stand firm. You know what I mean? Stand, stand firm. firm. And just, just continue to preach this word that needs to be preached. And just remember that it's not us. That is God using our lives to preach to others. Amen. And it's just Praise a beautiful God. word. If anyone, Praise anybody God. wants to put in their, you know, input on this, feel free to comment. Mm -hmm. You know, just God bless y'all. We hope that this is a blessing to your lives. Let us know how you feel about the word. Just if you want to say a quick testimony, let us know. Amen. I'll leave amen, the word to my amen, brother, amen. Tony Vasquez. I, I feel... Go ahead, my brother. I, I strongly, I strongly feel that this word is leading us 
I feel like this powerful word is leading us to communion. Amen. Communion with the Father. That's right. Amen, amen. The brother was just bringing that up, and and I feel that that powerful scripture is leading us to why is it so so why is it so important for us to be in communion with the Father? Right. You see, it's important for us to have a prayer life, like the brother yeah. said, for us to have a relationship with our Father. That's right. Because we could say that we could say that we're Christians, but do we really know Him? Right. Does He know us? Right. That's it. That's the key. Right. Communion now. with the Father is That's key. Right. Mm -hmm. A Christian without prayer, I strongly believe, is not a Christian, hmm. because you don't know Him. That's what does right. Christian mean? It means follower of Christ. Hallelujah, yeah. that's right. So how can we say we have communion with him and we don't know him? That's right. That's right. Wow. You know, it's it's powerful the way this powerful word is, is speaking to us all, but I strongly believe it's speaking to me in the aspect of prayer. That's that's right. Prayer. That's right. Prayer. That's right. Prayer. That's right. prayer. It's a way of life. Exactly. It's a way of life. Prayer is the key to everything. That's right. Prayer is the key to you getting your breakthrough. Prayer is the key for you to uh, to to overcome the sin that you're going through. Mm -hmm. Prayer is the key for your husband or your wife to come to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Prayer is the key for your That's children right. to come right. to the Lord. That's it. That's it. Prayer is the key for the Lord to begin to do. You see, because when we begin to trust in the Lord. When we begin to speak to God about our problems, I strongly believe that He begins to change things. That's right. He begins to shift the atmosphere. Right. Prayer is the key, brothers. Prayer is the key Amen. to all things. Prayer is the key, but you must trust and believe, brothers and sisters. Amen. Trust and believe. Amen. Amen. That's right. Prayer. I'm, I'm going to read this long passage to you, so I hope you're ready for this. A very long passage. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Ready for this? It's a long one. Pray without ceasing. Probably not so long, but to some of us, man, even one word in the Bible, amen, might seem like forever. Like it's too long, you know. Spiritual apathy. A lot of people struggling. You know, we're not here to slander nobody. We're not here to discourage anybody. We love you in the Lord. But we want to encourage you, amen, to, to seek God like never before because it is very important that we stay connected to the vine. For Jesus said in John chapter 15, he said, I am the true vine. My father is the husbandman. I want to read it because that's, that's such a beautiful passage. It's in the, you can find it in the book of John chapter 15. Verse 1, and, you know, it's, it's, it's very impacting what the Word of God was says. You know, these are, I heard a man of God said, every time before he preached, this man of God would say, Word of God, voice of God, recorded on paper. This is the Word of God. Right. The voice of God, recorded on paper. <coughs> Jesus said, I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. What do you think about that, man? Without me ye can do nothing. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight, but his delight, 
but his delight is in, in the, the law Lord. of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and, and night. <clears throat> day and <clears throat> night. <clears throat> Excuse me if I sound like a Southern Baptist preacher. That's not our intention. We're just so passionate about what the word of God says. Because if you remain in God, if you walk in holiness and righteousness, that is only possible through the power of the Holy Spirit. It is only possible by being connected, like my brother was saying moments ago, by being connected to the Lord. How can you say you know him, but you do not speak to him? Why are you mad if he doesn't speak to you, but your Bible is always closed? How can he speak to you? Why do you say God doesn't speak to me, but your Bible's collecting dust, never been opened? We need to be connected. We need to be vigilant, sober-minded and vigilant. Amen. Because we are in a spiritual battle. You know, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and so on. I want to share that passage. Amen. Because I believe that the Holy Spirit is definitely here speaking. Amen. Ministering unto the hearers. And the word of God says clearly. And it's powerful because. Here, he doesn't just say the word of God says. Here he begins to say, you know, this is powerful. It kind of stands out to me. That here Paul's not saying it is written. Paul is not just saying it is written or you have heard it said. But he says, now the spirit speaketh expressly. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's saying the spirit is speaking present tense. That in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits in doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their own science seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. And, and, and I definitely want to focus more on the first two verses. It says, now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. We're living in times where men are departing from sound doctrine. They're not teaching the truth anymore. They're starting to preach their own fables and beliefs as pertaining to the gospel. They're saying that certain things are okay and, and it's okay to do this and that. I don't want to get detailed I don't because of ethic. I don't want to hurt nobody. We're not here to bash and, and, and to discourage anybody. But we are here to preach the truth, the word of God that is unadulterated. The true word of God that can transform and change life. Just like Paul told Peter. Uh, he told Timothy and Titus chapter 2 verse 1 hallelujah he told him and told the church therefore hallelujah we go to Titus chapter 2 verse 1 amen and, and he said but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine he said but you speak the things which pertain to sound doctrine because only then my brethren well, we'll be able to walk in the light and understand the will of God. Amen. Romans chapter 2 verse 1. Love not holiness. the world, nor the things that are in the world. For if anyone loveth the Father. Amen. <clears throat> and, and the passage says it clearly. I would like to read it. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, sacrifice. wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Now, this is a passage which I just quoted. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But if, if, but if we're being conformed to this world, if we're not walking in the spirit, if we're living this Christian walk the way we want, how will we be able to prove what is the holy and acceptable will of God? Must discern. Discernment is what we need. We need to walk in the spirit. Test, Test the, the spirits. spirits. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're in one accord. I praise the Lord. My brother said it at the same time I said it. 
test, the, spirit, test the, the spirits. spirits. It is very necessary. It is necessary for us to know our word. Amen. How does this sermon come? How does this sermon come? How does this sermon come? I strongly believe by seeking the Lord, the, the fruits of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit will begin to flow in our lives. That's right. Right? So the gift of God, the, the gifts of the Spirit, the gifts amen, of amen. God, I strongly believe they're already in us. Well, how do we activate them? That's right. By being plugged in to his precious word. That's right. See, the more time you spend with a friend, the more time you get to know that friend. Amen. The more time you and that friend most likely will start acting like each other. Hmm. One like the other, maybe one like the other. That same way. The more time we spend with God and in His Word, the more I strongly believe the fruits of the Spirit will continue to flow out of us. That's right. Discernment is discernment is the key to all these things. A the brother was saying, "Be not conformed to the world, nor the things of the world, right? But be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind." That ye may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. That's right. That's right. Well, how? How? We must discern. We must test the spirits. That's right. We must have discernment. Because mm -hmm. without discernment, we won't be able to see. We won't be able to feel mm -hmm. what's going on, what's happening around us. See, that's a precious gift that God has given us. Discernment because we're able to test the spirits. The Holy Spirit will speak to us through the sermon. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. As we begin to wrap this session up, I think the Lord has spoken to us. Amen. Powerful word of God. We're excited. We're thankful that you're tuned in. Amen. We're definitely going to be uh, uniting. Amen. Every other uh, night. Amen. We'll be in here uh, recording, you know, this a radio podcast station, amen, and uh, we just bilingual hope that you too. can be edified, this is bilingual, amen, uh, estación radio y podcast bilingüe, amen, amen, estamos aquí para animar al pueblo de Dios y animar a todo aquel que se siente desamparado, apartado de Dios, Cristo te llama, Cristo te llama por nombre, uh -huh. Él quiere darte paz, quiere darte gozo, God wants to give you peace and joy, ese gozo que has estado buscando en otras cosas del mundo, que no trae satisfacción, que no llena tu vida verdaderamente del paz, de la paz y el gozo que tú has estado buscando. Dijo el apóstol Pablo, el gozo del Señor es mi fortaleza. Paul the Apostle said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. En este mundo... No vamos a encontrar la paz y el gozo que buscamos. En este mundo nunca hallarás, aleluya, Espíritu Santo. En las cosas de este mundo momentarias pasan. Dice la palabra del Señor, aleluya. Y el mundo pasa y sus deseos. Pero los que hacen la voluntad de Dios permanecen para siempre. Yo siento tu presencia, Señor. And the world passeth away in the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God shall abide forever. Jesus is calling you. Cristo te llama. Jesus is at the door. The Bible says that he came once. He came already as a lamb to the slaughter. My friend, let me tell you that it is time for you to draw closer to God. Because he's coming back again. But he's not coming like a humble lamb any longer. He's coming, hallelujah. Now he's coming as the lion of the tribe of Judah to bring wrath upon this world of wickedness. Get ready. Apostle John wrote as he was led by the spirit taken in the vision. Behold, he cometh with the clouds and every eye shall see him. Yes. Hallelujah. God is speaking to us today. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. 
Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but it is against principalities, against the evil rulers in the high places, against Satan himself. The Lord rebuke him. Amen. We are victorious. Hallelujah. I thank God that we're able to worship God and thank him for this redeeming love that he has bestowed upon us. Because even the angels in heaven cannot worship like we do. Because they have not experienced redemption, being redeemed from death. Our worship, hallelujah, we praise you, Lord Jesus. We magnify you for your presence. Our worship, Lord, let it let it be as a, as a hallelujah, uh, 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 offering, Lord, upon you, Father God. To your throne, Father, that I may reach your throne, Father. Let it be, Lord, as a hallelujah. Delight unto you, Father. We magnify you and we praise you, Lord. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We're living in perilous times. We're living in times where, where people are, 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 are becoming more hardened in their heart. And Jesus spoke about it already. He said it. He said it when he was on earth during the 30 years of his ministry. He said and in the latter times he wrote, the hearts of many would grow wax cold because of the multiplication of sin, amen. And God is speaking to us today and reminding us that this is a spiritual battle, that we are fighting, we're in a war against ourselves and against evil. Can you imagine that? Because the Bible says that we need to be careful from the one that sleeps next to us. It's not talking about our spouses or family members. It's speaking about our flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we need to walk in the spirit now more than ever. Hallelujah. Because those that feed the spirit. The Bible says amen. That there is therefore no condemnation. To those who are in Christ. Those who walk after the spirit amen. Amen. amen and as we conclude tonight amen we want to thank you all for tuning in amen we believe that the lord brought a beautiful word uh to our lives amen amen we want to make a special calling someone out there that uh does not know the lord that has not accepted uh jesus as their personal lord and savior maybe you've been watching you know maybe somebody out there that needs prayer we're going to take this time amen our brother Henry is going to uh, 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 go through some of the comments, amen, and, and we want to, if, if, if you need prayer of anything, amen, if you don't know the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior, we want to pray with you. Matter of fact, we're going to we're gonna make a, a, a calling to all those right now that don't know the Lord as their personal Lord and Savior. We cannot leave tonight without offering you this precious gift, amen. Those of you that are watching live, amen. Uh, we, we thank you, amen, and we appreciate your time. We want to go ahead and uh, and make this calling and do this prayer, amen. Uh, and we could all just bow our heads. There's someone out there that wants to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And just repeat after me, amen, and uh, repeat this prayer after me, amen. We'll all do it at the same time. And say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I come before you. Recognizing that I'm a sinner. Recognizing that I'm a sinner. In need of your salvation. In need of your salvation. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. And that you rose on the third day. And that you rose on the third day. To take away my sin. To take away my sins. And forgive me. And forgive Come into my life. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Change me. Change me. And seal me with your Holy Spirit. I accept your salvation. And your redeeming blood over my life. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. We just want to pray for whoever prayed that. Whoever prayed that prayer right now. We want to pray for you. Amen. Father God we thank you Lord. By faith whoever prayed that prayer out there. Father watching live or listening Lord. We pray that you seal them with your precious blood. Seal them with your Holy Spirit, Father God. And that you reveal your will for their lives, Father God. That you 
that you cover them with your precious blood. We plead the blood of Jesus over their souls, Father, and we ask, Lord, that you guide them. Guide them in their walk, daily walk, Lord, that they can be planted in a good church where they can grow, Father God, and that they can grow in your word, Father. Give us all a hunger and thirst for your word and for prayer daily, Father God. We ask this all in the mighty name of Yeshua, Father, knowing, Lord, that you see all things, Father God, and that, like your word says, Father, the eyes of the Lord are over the entire world. We know that you see everything, Father God. There is nothing hidden from you, Lord Jesus. And we just thank you, Father God. And, and we pray for everybody that's been watching us live, Lord, and everyone that's listening, Lord, through this radio and podcast, Father. And we just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing and what you will continue to do, Lord. We pray this all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you all. We just, <laughs> we hope you were encouraged tonight. Remember, his word says in John 3, 16, for all who were listening and uh, maybe were touched, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, right. that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. That's See, right. His word That's right. says there's no greater love than this, than for a man who lay him to lay himself down for a friend. Amen, amen, amen. He died for you. He loves you, and he's waiting for you in open arms. He wants to change you, and he wants to give you life and life more abundantly. Seek him now. Now is the time. God has a breakthrough for you. God has something great in store for you. That's right. And his word says that if he created a good work in you. He will finish it mm. until the end. That's right. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. This is God of Wonders Holy Life Radio. We hope Hallelujah. that you were encouraged tonight and be of good courage. Hallelujah. No Amen. current Amen. afflictions compared to the glory that awaits you. Amen. I'm here Amen. with my brother Antonio Vasquez and my brother Henry Rivas and myself, Isai Vasquez. And we hope that you were encouraged tonight. We love you all. We praise uh, we praise Jesus for what he's doing. Not just in our life, but in your life as well. Continue to push and strive. God bless you all. Amen, amen. Feel free to email us, amen, and uh, inbox us. And hopefully if God is doing something in your life, you feel led, amen, to, to share a word, a testimony. We will be sharing that testimony in our next session, amen. You can uh, email us to God of Wonders. Radio podcast at gmail.com. That's G O D O F W O N D E R S R A D I O P O D C A S T at gmail.com. Amen. And uh, uh, we're praying for you. We love you. Amen. And we ask for your prayers. Amen. And we're believing that God is touching someone out there through this medium. Amen. Uh, shout out to my brother Jess James. Amen. Uh, watching all the way from Sacramento, Everybody shout out to the to to the brethren in the faith, the Holy Rollers, Amen. The, the team, Amen, and and all and all the brothers in the faith, everyone that's watching, special shout out, and we love you in the Lord, and we're praying for you, Amen, and we ask for your prayers daily, Amen, and and uh, we thank God for this time, Amen, and uh, we pray that uh, that you continue to strive with us as we run this race together amen i would like my brother henry to close us out in a word of prayer amen as we uh conclude this session and, uh, amen, amen amen before closing out i just want to tell my little brother gerardo rivas love you bro and god bless you god bless you gerardo. Papa Luis Contreras. Dios te bendiga. amen 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 and then we just want to get a prayer amen god bless lord father god we just thank you for this privilege lord father god that you have given us to just to just preach your word, Lord Father God, how you have called us to, Lord Father God. I just thank you for every life that tuned in, Lord Father God. I just pray that every life that did tune in, Lord Father God, that you just bless them with this word, Lord Father God, to, to renew their strengths, Lord Father God, to build them up spiritually, Lord Father God, to always remind them of your joy, Lord Father God, that we have in you, Lord. Just bless each and every life here tonight, Lord Father God. Bless everybody, Lord Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue to use our lives, Lord Father God, to bless others, Lord Father God, the way that you have blessed us. Let us, Lord Father God, be used by you, Lord. And I just thank you, Lord, for this beautiful privilege that you have given us, brothers, Lord Father God, here today. 
to just let people know of your love, Lord Father God. The way that you that you love us, the way that you just gave yourself for us, Lord Father God. And I just thank you, Lord. And I just pray for a beautiful, blessed night to all our brothers and sisters, Lord. And to everybody, Lord Father God, who doesn't know you, Lord, I just pray that you use this to, to minister to those lives that need to hear of your love, Lord Father God. And we just thank you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. God bless. Tune in Thursday night. To a powerful word. We will be speaking Tuesday, on Tuesday night as well. Thursdays and Tuesday night. This Thursday, Amen. Thursday, we will be speaking on holiness. Hallelujah. The word of God says that without holiness, it is what? Without holiness, no one shall see the no Father. No one shall see the Father. Amen. And it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And God bless without you guys. holiness. God bless. Thursday night, Holy Life Radio. Amen.